this supposedly is a cat that was uh, fairly nice, fairly normal a day ago. Got the carrier? Mm -hmm. ah!
देखो काफी अलर्ट है कितने हैं डेढ़ महीने का है और पिछले एक हफ्ते से कुछ खा नहीं रहा है न दूध पी रहा है माँ का न पानी पी रहा है और ऐसे चिल्लाता रहता है मुंह से छाक आता रहता है ऐसे ऐसे तो आपने इसको मुंह में हाथ डालते हो क्या इसके पापा बुलाते हैं ना इसको जब पानी बुलाते हैं फिर दूध निकाल के बुलाते हैं मिट्टी खाता है नहीं नहीं वो बस थोड़ा सा पैर पटको उसको हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर आर बी कुशवाहा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन द डिवीजन ऑफ वेटनरी क्लिनिकल कॉम्प्लेक्स एफ वी एस सी एंड ए एच स्कॉस चैनल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल सो काइंडली सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकॉन फॉर द फॉर द नोटिफिकेशन सो टुडे वी हैव केस ऑफ द रेबीज इन एडल्ट काउ सो दिस Kau has presented uh, at the clinic uh, with the history of uh, not uh, taking feed and fodder and water from the last two to three days, and also has altered behavior. So, based on the uh, history, we suspected a uh, rabies disease uh, in this particular cow. So, uh, we examined the cow from the distance. So, 
if you talk about the clinical signs so definitely uh, bellowing is the prominent sign in this uh, cow yes you could, you could see here uh, bellowing and there is a foamy salivation and if you look at the tail region and anus region so you could see here there is a raging of the tail and uh, tenesmus so this tenesmus or wind sucking is also uh, one of the clinical sign of ravage owner also uh, told that uh, animal was uh, licking the mud so beside tenesmus and raging of the tail yawning yeah you could see here the both ears and eyes are alert means uh, uh, animal is very sensitive to the environment so hypersensitivity or hyperesthesia are the common signs seen in case of the rabies so these are the some common uh, clinical sign of uh, rabies uh, in adult cow so if such uh, type of uh, clinical sign if you see in any animal so you should handle that animal carefully and should not examine the mouth with bare hands uh, we advise to owner uh, for post bite rabies vaccination to those persons who come in contact with this cow because this is a dreadful uh, disease and once the clinical sign appears uh, person or animal has to die so thank you very much for uh, watching this video and if you like this video so kindly share with your friends or veterinarian and subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed the channel at thank you very much சுத்தமா <laughs> எடுக்க <laughs> 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 ஓ அப்ப தீனி சாப்பிடாத மட்டும்தான் வேற அந்த அறிகுறி வித்தியாசம் இல்ல 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 தண்ணியே குடிக்கல நேத்துல இருந்து தண்ணியே கொஞ்சம் கூட எடுத்துக்கல நல்ல தண்ணி தான் குடிச்சிட்டு இருக்கு ம் ஏ ஏர்க்கு நாய்க்கு கடிச்சிருக்கு அது மாதிரி இல்ல கவனிக்கிறது மாதிரி வாங்க நக்கும்போது என்ன ஆச்சு இது என்ன இந்த அனிமல் நேத்து வந்து சாதாரணமா சாப்பிடலன்னு சொல்லி ட்ரீட்மென்ட்காக வந்தோம் நேத்து பாக்கும்போது எந்த ஸ்பெசிஃபிக்கா தனிப்பட்ட அறிகுறியும் தெரியல சாப்பிடல மட்டும் இருந்தது இன்னைக்கு பார்க்கும்போது அதனுடைய குணம் பிகேவியர் சேஞ்சஸ் இன்னைக்கு வந்து காலை கொஞ்சம் ஒரு மாதிரி பறிக்குது கொஞ்சம் பார்வை வந்து வெறிச்ச மாதிரி இருக்கு வாயில கொஞ்சம் சலைவேசன் வருது அப்படி இல்லை அப்படின்னு சொன்னாரு இந்த அனிமலோட ஓனரு அந்த கொம்பு ஏதோ பக்கத்துல இருந்த மரத்துல இடிச்சு பேத்துருச்சு அப்படின்னு சொன்னாரு சரி இந்த பிகேவியரல் சயின்ஸ் மாறினதை வச்சு பார்க்கும்போது எனக்கு சந்தேகம் இது வந்து வெறிநாய் கடியினுடைய அறிகுறி இருக்குமான்னு டவுட் இருந்துச்சு அதுக்காக அந்த சரி அந்த வெறிநாய் கடியினுடைய குணம் வந்து நான் கோழியை பார்த்துன்னா ரொம்ப அதிகரிக்கும் நம்ம ஏற்கனவே பார்த்துருக்கோம் அதனால் ஒரு கோழி கொண்டு வர சொல்லி அதை காமிச்சோன்னா அது கற்ற ஆரம்பிச்சிச்சு ஆக்ரோசம் ஆகிடுச்சு அந்த அறிகுறிலாம் அதிகமாக வர ஆரம்பிச்சிருச்சு அப்போ வந்து இது இதனோடய குணாதிசயங்கள் வச்சு பார்க்கும்போது இது வெறிநாய் கடிக்கான அறிகுறி உறுதியாகுது சார் சரி இப்போ கோழி கொண்டு வந்து காமிக்கலாம் சார் இப்போ பாருங்கள் அமைதியாக இருக்குது எந்த வித்தியாசமும் இந்த மாட்டை பார்க்கும்போது உங்களுக்கு தெரியல லேசாசமாக வாயில் நார்மலாக சாப்பிட்ற மாட்டுக்கு ஆசைப்படும் போது இருக்கிற நோரை தான் இருக்குது இப்போ பாருங்கள் வித்தியாசம் தெரியல இப்போ ஒரு கோழி கொண்டு வர சொல்கிறோம் பாருங்கள் அதை பார்த்தோடனே இதனுடைய அந்த அந்த இப்போ ஒரு அலர்ட் லுக்கு மட்டும் தான் தெரியுது ஆனால் அந்த கோழி கொண்டு வந்தோடனே அதை குணாதிசயம் மாறுறது பாருங்களா கோழி கொண்டு பார்த்தோடனே கற்ற ஆரம்பிக்குது பாருங்க பாருங்க 
சரி இதே நாங்க நல்ல மாட்டு மாடு இருக்குல்ல அந்த மாட்டு கவலை கொண்டு போங்க பக்கம் சத்தம் போல ஒண்ணும் அமைதியா இருக்கு அந்த மாட்டோடைய கண்ணு கிடையாது அதுக்கிட்ட கொண்டு போங்க ஒரு வெறுநாய் கடிச்சதுக்குடைய கண்டுபிடிக்கிறதுக்கு ஒரு சின்ன டெஸ்ட் இது You're about to see something truly terrifying. That's a fox sneaking up on a woman in her front yard. From this angle, you can see the attack. She kicks the fox over and over, but the animal keeps coming back. It's biting her legs and scratching her arms as she tries to break free. The more I tried to get him to leave me alone, the more vor voraciously he came after me. He just wouldn't stop. And my fear was that he was going to trip me up. and I would fall and he would attack my face. The fox won't give up. He latched into my, the fatty part of your hand right between your thumb and your forefinger with all of his might and he held on and I, I tried to rip him off. I tried to swing him off. But then her neighbor shows up with a stick and at last the fox retreats. I will be grateful to him for the rest of my life and, and I, I just thank God that, that he heard me. Did it ever cross your mind that the fox might have rabies? It did, Megan, after the third or fourth approach from the fox because he was so persistent. Sure enough, the fox was later caught and it tested positive for rabies. Sherry Russo was treated right away and so far she says she's showing no signs that she contracted rabies. Rabies is a viral disease that is almost always fatal if not treated immediately. If you get bitten or even scratched, by a rabid animal, you need to go immediately to the doctor. Sherry is going to be fine, but what a traumatic experience. It felt like it was going to last forever. From when I've been told I had, you know, one, two hours left to live. It has been seven years since Gina Gizzi survived the unsurvivable. After being bitten by a bat, the Fond du Lac teenager became the only known person in the world to survive rabies without a vaccine. We watched her come back from the break tonight. She's celebrating a new milestone. Now, her treatment became a medical first. 12 News' Patrick Palantonio caught up with Gina Gizzi, now just days away from accomplishing another first. It's a story you'll see only on 12. It's the time of year when winter slips away, spring slips by, and summer slips in. The semester is nearing an end at Lakeland College. Title here. Title. As the days dwindle, a couple students in a second floor computer lab wrap up their final project. Simple, organized. Like so many her age, Gina Gizzi is focused on life's latest challenge, turning her lessons into her livelihood. Most of the people don't know who I am. Her low profile on campus is a change from her highly publicized health scare. In the fall of 2004, Gina became a household name after a bat bit her finger at church. Me, I was 15 years old at the time and I didn't know bats would have rabies, so we never did anything about it. Um, three weeks later, I started to get 
flu-like symptoms, and then I just quickly deteriorated. It was too late for a vaccine. When she arrived at Children's Hospital, Gina's life was slipping away. I mean, we had to put a breathing, a breathing tube in her within a few hours. And at that point, I was pretty much sure she was going to be dead in a day or two. With the clock and the odds against them, the medical team quickly developed a radical plan to induce a coma, use a cocktail of drugs, and hope her immune system would fight the virus. The idea is that rabies seems to kill you violently through your own nervous system. It causes you to stop your heart, uh, to flood your lungs, do a variety of bad things. And so by suppressing the brain, you buy time. And then the natural immune response comes in usually between about seven days, maybe ten days. And then that, uh, interestingly, is able to clear the infection without damage. The experiment worked. Days later, Gina came to. Within a few months, she left the hospital. The treatment now has a name. The Milwaukee Protocol. Dr. Rodney Willoughby says the technique has been tried about three dozen times since around the world. Four of the people survived. He is now a go-to guy for rabies, and she is a messenger. If you could press the rewind button and you go back into that church, would you have reacted differently or handled you know, the situation differently? I used to say yes, you know, I'd rewind that, I'd take it all back. But now I think that because so many lives have been saved because of me, you know, if this is where I have to be for, for those lives to be saved, then, you know, I wouldn't take it back. That's not to say it's been easy. Gina had to relearn how to talk and walk, a painstaking, grueling, gradual process. Today, she's a 21-year-old, back behind the wheel, working with animals and finishing her studies. A lot of what I want to do after I graduate is public speaking about rabies awareness, and then I want to help animals with animal conservation or some sort of, you know, animal work. But first, there's work to do on campus. After she hands in that project, Gina will be handed something else, her degree in biology. On Mother's Day, she'll become the first in her family to graduate from college. Right now, she's looking for a job to start her career and keeping busy at the same time. Gina is already an ambassador for rabies awareness, taking her message and story to places like Facebook and her own website. She's also on the road educating people, even at places like the CDC. This summer, she'll travel to the Philippines on a rabies-related trip, and we also hear there's a book in the works. That's off to Gina. Because of her case, and it's so unique, Gina doesn't know if her body will regain its full motion. She has some lingering side effects, mostly balance and coordination issues, but nothing that holds her back from day-to-day -day activities and accomplishments as well. It was nearly two decades ago when a teenager from Wisconsin became the first known survivor of rabies who did not receive a life-saving vaccination. Many viewers may remember Gina Giese's story, but it has a new chapter we're excited to share. NBC26's Eric Kress shows us why she has a lot to be thankful for. You can chalk it up to luck, advancements in science, or just a loving team that was constantly in her corner. But one thing is for certain, Gina Giese no is fortunate to be alive. It's going to be 17 years this September and 17 years ago I never would have guessed that I would be here. At just 15 years old, Gizzi was bitten by a bat, contracted rabies, and doctors told her she had a slim chance Ooh. of finding out how her life story would be written. Basically they told my parents you can let her die here at the hospital or you can take her home and let her die. or. We can try this experiment. We don't know if it's going to work, but we want to put her in a coma. Gizzi was put into an induced coma for two weeks. Feeding and breathing tubes kept her alive while her body fought off the infection. And when she woke, almost nothing was the same. I was basically a 15-year-old newborn. I couldn't talk. I couldn't move my arms. I couldn't walk. Um, couldn't sit up on my own. The road to recovery for the teenager would last for years. I just kept pushing myself. The support from her family, community, and strangers alike helped her achieve a high school diploma, a bachelor's degree, and the confidence that she had nearly lost through the hardships. Having everyone believing in me helped me to believe in myself. After achieving her educational goals, oh, Gizzi's competitive side started emerging and she got heavily involved in sled dog racing. 
I have never lost my my sense of loving nature and animals. Um, even with what happened to me, I still, you know, animals are a huge chunk of my life. Additionally, Gizi found herself pursuing another once unimaginable goal, walking down the aisle and starting a family. I wouldn't have my husband, I wouldn't have my kids, I wouldn't have my dogs. This young woman, who was once expected not yeah, to make it to her 16th point. birthday, now has a husband and three healthy kids, a beautiful home in the Fox Cities, and the memories of a fulfilled life, all because she never stopped pushing herself. There was, you know, many times when I wanted to give up and just stop trying. I don't know what's going to happen in another 10 years, another 20 years, but I'm excited to see. In the Fox City, Zarek Crest, NBC 26. Beautiful success story, full circle. Eric, thank you.